Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, sorry for being MIA the last four or five days. Um, there's fires down here, and we ended up getting evacuated from our house for a few days. So um, that was kind of a gnarly, unfortunate situation. Um, and it was kind of nerve wracking, I guess. Uh, but thankfully, the amazing firefighters and first responders um, got things taken care of down this way. So um, we were gone for a couple days, got back home um, end of last weekend. So um, all is well. There's still a bunch of fires burning up in L.A. So people are still doing a bunch of work up there. It's just it's crazy. Um, usually fire season down here is like October ish. There's not usually fires in December, but it's been like in the 80s. It's crazy. But um, yeah, I kind of threw everything off. I'd mentioned in my videos that I uploaded last week. I'm just, I'm so far behind on beer reviews and it's stressing me out. People are like, dude, don't worry about it. So, you know what? We're not going to worry about it. We're just going to kind of get through some beers that we want to review and just get back to having beer review being fun again. So, um, it's, we're getting into 12 days of Christmas. We did stout miss last year. So we're going to drink some stouts. Um, and I figured the one that I wanted to drink tonight for, I don't know why I had a hankering for this tonight, but, um, this is Hawaiian Speedway stout from Alesmith. Um, this is their Speedway stout, which is their Imperial coffee stout, um, with coconut vanilla. And instead of using, I think they, I want to say they use like Ryan brothers coffee. I might be wrong about that. Um, they're using Ka'au coffee from Hawaii. So 12% alcohol by volume. Um, this was released last year. I did not get bottles of it, but I had it on draft last year and I really liked it. Um, and they just did another release of it a few months ago. A few, uh, it was like a month or so ago. Um, I actually went, I didn't buy bottles of it online. I forgot about it. And when I went down to pick up um, the double barrel Speedway bottle that I bought, they had this still um, in their coolers. Actually, should we just take this whole thing off? They had a whole cooler full of this. So I grabbed it. I was like, you know what? I want that because that beer's good. So um, we're gonna use our Ale Smith proper glassware. Yeah, if you guys have never had Speedway Stout, you need to change that. It is a fantastic coffee stout. Um, and they're doing 16 ounce cans now, four packs of it, which is really, really cool. So if it's available in your area and you've never had it and you like stouts, not optional, drink it. Um, this poured, it was kind of like a, it wasn't a super dark um, brown when it poured, but it's pitch black, wow washing this glass out, left bubbles everywhere. Um, it's pitch black in the glass. There's a nice finger of just frothy mocha khaki head. That looks freaking absolutely amazing. 12% um, when we swirl this, there's alcohol legs. It looks killer in that proper glassware. Um, the good thing about coffee beers is my wife likes coffee beers, so this will be one that we can share tonight. But yeah, let's go ahead and shove our fat nose in it. This smells, <laughs> it smells like chocolate ice cream with coffee. Um, there's a little bit of sweetness to it, which I'm guessing is the vanilla. Not a whole lot of coconut right now. There's just, in Speedways like that, it is just overwhelming coffee. It's one of the most coffee forward stouts, I think, as far as like just shelf stouts. Um, there's so much damn coffee in that beer and it's in this beer too. But there's chocolate, there's like, it's fudgy chocolate. Um, 12%, this is actually cellar temperature. This has been sitting in our wine fridge at 60 degrees. There's no booze on the nose of this. This, it does, it smells like if you were to take chocolate ice cream and make a float out of it with like coffee. With a little bit of, I don't know what that sweetness is. I don't know if it's vanilla. Um, it definitely doesn't smell coconutty. Um, it's just, I think right now at this temperature, in my hand, it'll warm up a little bit too. There's still a little bit of a chill on it. Um, it's just, it's crazy, crazy, crazy chocolate, fudgy chocolate and coffee. So let's go and taste it. Cheers. God, that's freaking, that's so good. Um, I will say just the first not noticeable thing, 12%, this beer is not chewy. Um, not a crazy full mouthfeel. I kind of wish it was. And as I'm talking, there is much more coconut on the taste of that than there is in the nose. So yeah, mouthfeel wise, it's not a big chewy um, stout, which I guess for 12%, you're not gonna like labor through it, but people always talk about mouthfeel with stouts. This one's on the thinner side. Tastes very much falls the nose though. 
it's crazy amounts of coffee. It almost tastes like Rocky Road ice cream. Like that, I keep thinking like ice cream in my brain when I smelled like the fudginess of it. It reminds me of like Rocky Road ice cream. Um, if you were to add um, coffee to it and then the coconut on the finish of that, it's on the very back end of it. It's like having like shaved kind of coconut flakes with ice cream. Coconut isn't really like forward and neither is the vanilla. Um, I just think there's there's a sweetness on the finish of that that balances out. There's so much coffee in this that I think it could go bitter or acrid. Um, but that sweetness that's there, again, I wouldn't be able to pick out vanilla per se, but there's a nice sweetness that balances out all that coffee in there. This beer is killer. They make so many good variants of Speedway. And it's crazy. I've never actually reviewed regular Speedway on, on my channel. I've done Barrel Age Speedway. We did Beer Geek Speedway. Now we're doing Hawaiian Speedway. I've never done um, regular Speedway Stout. I should change that. Um, this is really good though. Alesmith's cool now because they're such a big brewery. Um, they do their Speedway Grand Prix week during San Diego Beer Week, and they have like six, it's either, it's like between 16 and 20 different variants of Speedway that you can go and you choose a flight and you can have like five of them, I think. Um, and there's always leftover. So this year when I went down to, to grab the double barrel Speedway bottles, um, they had a bunch of different, I mean, I was driving, so I couldn't drink all of them, but I had a four ounce taster of, they did, um, it was like a strawberry shortcake speedway. It was really, really good. This is another one. I mean, I don't know if these are like gonna blow people's minds. It's just a really solid stout. It's if you like coffee, you like chocolate, and then whatever the variance of it is, like this one's got coconut and vanilla, it's got a sweetness to it. There's definite coconut on the finish of it. You're gonna enjoy drinking this beer. It's not boozy. Um, it's not like I said, I'll be able to share this no problem with my wife and we'll get through What is this gonna be? It's a 750. What is that like 12 and a half 13 ounces per person? It's like having a pint of this that you can drink not even a pint a pint 16 ounces So we'll be able to drink this no problem um, It's not crazy sweet like cloying like a desserty beer, but it's a fantastic like Sweeter stout if you like coffee and chocolate and coconut you'll love this. This is really really good So it's a world-class stout for me um is it like, I mean, is it like mind blown hunnids? No, um, this is like in that 96 range. This is really, really good. So uh, that's Hawaiian Speedway. Like I said, when I was down there, it was probably a month or so ago, they had a bunch of these um, and they're cooler. So if you know someone who's local in San Diego, trade for it. I would definitely recommend checking this one out. If you see it on tap, definitely try it. Um, I would say drink it warmer. Last year when I had it cold, it was just, it was all coffee. And then as it warmed, you could kind of get the other flavors out of it. There might be bottle variation. It could be different in kegs. This is really, really good. So I'm out of here, guys. I'm sorry for rambling. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.